Hello everyone, welcome back to Kilvert's Corner. In today's episode we are going to be experimenting with the sewing machine, learning patterns um, and fabrics. So the pattern we're going to be doing is this wine bottle carrier. Um, I get my patterns that oh, I've brought loads, too many. This isn't even all of them. Not enough time. Hence the look. It's light. I'm tired. There's not enough time to craft. So we're just going with it. So I've been getting these patterns from an uh, online company called Happy Days Sewing. Check them out. They're on Facebook. And once you've got the patterns, you can go on YouTube and watch some of... Like, they've got videos on how to do the patterns. However, I've been on the YouTube channel today and I cannot find a video on how to do this particular pattern. So we're going to have a go at doing a pattern without a video, just by instructions. But it looks really good. So you've got all your instructions, everything that you need. And step by step pictures on how to do it as well. Now you can buy them as a PDF or you can buy them printed. Um, I buy them printed. I don't have a printer. I don't want to mess around with the faff of it, so I'm happy to pay the extra. Um, let them print them off for me, and then they come. So as well as your instructions, you get obviously your pattern, which you cut out, stick together, um, trace it out on a piece of card. I just get my card cheap from the range and cut it out. And then keep the card and you've got the pattern as long as you can look after that card. Um, but this pattern comes in two sizes, small and large. So the pattern calls for some medium weight cotton fabric of your choice. As explained in my other video, I'm no expert. I'm a beginner. And I don't know the difference of medium heavy lightweight. So usually, I say usually. I've only done two projects. I've been using fat quarters. This one in particular is from Aldi. And it's quite, feels thick. I don't know whether you call that thick though because I've got another one which almost feels like linen and that's thicker than that. But what we're using today is a Christmas print fabric which is super thin. And I don't know whether you have to interface this to make it thicker. I know that's what interfacing is for. But I don't know whether I need to for this pattern. And I've never done interfacing. So we're going to play around. Um, we're just going to go with it, with this fabric as it is. Uh, I've got it in red and the same pattern in green. So I've cut out my pieces ready. Iron them. And we're going to go through and see if we can figure out a pattern on our own. I need to thread my sewing machine because I've still got brown in there at the minute. And I'm gonna, just going to go with green for this one. So yeah, we'll learn whether we need to... If we have to learn interfacing, great, happy days. It forces me into learning something that I don't know about sooner than planned. So yeah, let's get into it. Right, I'm thinking green on the inside. Oh, well, I should have paid attention to that, shouldn't I? There's your first lesson, people. Cut your fabric in the same direction. I did one of them up and one of them sideways. Well, I wanted to do red on the out. 
but to make sense i think green is going to have to be on the outer okay lesson one learned of the day all right place the outer pieces right sides together okay this is also where you find out you haven't cut them exactly the same. I'd say that's good enough. Pin into place and sew along the top. Okie dokie, where's my pins? I've been finding clips easier lately. Don't know why. I thought they'd be more bulky and awkward. But they're easier. Okay. Right, so it also tells you the seam allowance for this project is a quarter inch. So just using the markings on your sewing machine. Generally, I eyeball it. I should probably be a bit more, try and be a bit more professional. Like I said, we're all learners. See how mastered that ends a bit. We need to work on yourself. Just the extra security. We're missing to bunch up. Maybe it started before the end of the fabric gets to the end of the sewing. But... Okay, so I've stringed off the end bits of sewing. Okay, next, press the seam open to reduce bulk in the finished bag. Let's go to the end. Repeat this for the lining piece. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat that real quick on the red. So the next step, open out the two now joined pieces. All right, so green was outer. Place the outer right side facing up and place the lining piece on top. Now, I don't know whether it's... That's got to be facing up also. Make sure the centre seams match up. Pin along both sides of the curve. No, surely they'd have to be wrong side together. Well, right side together. Yep, we're going to gamble and go right sides together. We're going to match up the seams. And as guessed, I didn't cut them all out perfectly even. But that's okay. How badly different is it? Not at all. Okay. We're doing good. We're going with it. Right, so I'm just going to go with pins and I'm going to use the sewing machine and go over the pins. Which, when I was first told to do that, I was really scared. But it was in my sewing lesson and she was like, just go for it. And I did. And you know what? It was great not having to stop and take them out. So I'm going to go ahead and pin along the curve sections. Okay, we're all pinned in, so now we need to sew along those curves. If I can get this stand to hold. And there we go, ready to pin. Oh, I don't recommend that, folks. That did not happen in my sewing lesson. What are the blooming chances? Right then, I'm going to take this out and we'll start again. Oh, 
Right, then we'll try again. Not making that mistake again. Okay, one side done. Now I'll just do the other. Right, so all the curves are sewed together. Now we're just going to snip very gently, careful not to touch your stitches. And all this does is when you turn it, it lessens the bulk, so to say. Like it doesn't all bunch up, it just kind of goes over each other, separates nicely. Ooh. Alternatively, if you're confident, I should have pre-done this really, the edges of your fabric, instead of cutting them in a straight line, um, cut them with uh, I think they're called crimping or pinking, basically zigzag scissors, and that just stops the frame of the fabric, like how you got these scraggly pieces. It prevents that from happening. Don't know the science behind it, but it just works. And the zigzag also helps with that, what I've just done. So, next step. Snip along both curves, turn right side out, pull through the handle. Right then, this is going to be interesting. Let's poke that one through there. Now we've got to press this. Right, so we need to get the shape of it. So, that's my long needle. I'm just gonna push on the edges. See any problem with enjoying sewing? Do you have to iron? Oh well. Okay, so next step. Fold so that the two outer pieces, which this is now our outer, are right sides together and the two lining pieces are together. Now the picture looks like this. So I'm going to go with two outer pieces together. Just 
try and get that out of the way. And the two lining pieces are together and pin. Now the problem I've got is one half is smaller than the other. So that's okay. We'll just take that into account when doing the seam allowance. Like we said, all part of the learning curve. All right, seam, matching, and pin. And the clip. I'm scared of the pins now I jammed one in my machine. Just going to pin on at the seam because that's probably the most important part really for making sure this actually works okay so along the two longest sides You have to leave a gap because this is how you pull it through. Just about five centimetre one is fine. And we just go straight across. So many frayed edges. I really, really should have used those scissors. Whoops. Okay, so now it's all kind of sewed in together. I need to box the corners first, it says. Taking one corner at a time. Yep. Okay then, so we've boxed all four corners, let's just trim those off.
Turn the bag right sides out by turning through the gap you have left in the lining. So across the gap. Okay, so this is again the same process as the bag I made. I thought I'd left a big enough gap. But I can just about get a finger in. So we're going to have to be very, very careful and delicate. Right, I'm just wiggling, trying to feel for the handle. Seeing if I can, I can't even get my knuckle through. Okay, we're going to have to go super gentle. Pull and wiggle. Make sure. So you want to make sure you've actually got something to fold over on the inside to sew together. It's super thin. I'm just going to turn my needle over to get a tighter stitch. Now, I did go overkill then because I really don't want that to come open. Okay. Now, the red needs to be on the inside, so I guess we just turn it inside out. Let's push those corners out inside. Guys, look at that. Well, I am pretty chuffed with that. Do you know what we need to test it out with now? A bottle of wine or something. Right there. Da, da, da. I am so, so happy with that. It's so cute. That turned out so much better than I expected. Keep the brands off the screen. Now that square bottle of whiskey that everyone knows is a little smaller. So I'm wondering whether that's perfect for the smaller pattern, but I'm so happy with that. So back to the question, do you need interfacing? No, this fabric was thick enough with the two layers well I think so anyway I don't think it needs it I mean it doesn't let's see if I can tilt it doesn't stand up on its own but this fabric it's not going on really I don't know whether that would with interfacing maybe that's Ta-da! <laughs> okay yeah Maybe that's a, another day of playing around with interfacing. I've also got some fusible fleece, which I've never used before either. So I think maybe we'll just do some, cut off some scraps of fabric and play around putting those together. But guys, guess what people are getting for Christmas this year? I am really pleased with that. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you've got any suggestions on how I could improve next time, I know I need to work on cutting my fabrics even. If you have any tips for that, please let me know. Yeah, see you in the next video.